Hi, welcome to CatTech. For today's video, I will teach you about title block, blocks, and attributes. So we will be doing our title block under layout. So we go to layout or what they call the pa paper space and then right click, go to page setup. If your paper or plot size is not 8 and a half by 11, what you need to do is you go to modify, change the paper size, look for the 8 and a half by 11 and then press OK and then close. So on your paper space, this is where we usually print the drawing that we make on the model space. So these dashed lines that you see here, um, this means that outside of this line will no longer be printed on your paper. So of course, since we're using inches, so we will change our units into inches. So type units, make sure it's in 0, 0.0, it's inches, and then press OK. Let's start by making our borderline. Click the um, rectangle, click on your screen or drawing paper type d for the dimensions our length is 10 and the width is 7.5 and then press enter now we will um, click click the rectangle and then explode so we can so we may be able to offset the lines so go to offset type 5 and then one Let's offset this line and the other line. Now let's offset 0.5 and then trim. And then zoom. Zoom in and then let's add text. Go to text, single line, specify the height. Enter. Type name and then below is drawing name and then the date. Don't worry if it's not aligned to your title block. You can just um, move the text later once we're done. And then let's click the text so we can align it inside our drawing. And then, um, I want to add the logo that I've created before. So to do that, I will type insert and then drag the logo to my title block. So scale for it to fit on my title block. Move. And then... Once done, we will convert this into block. So type block. Let's rename it. Um, add tech block. Pick points. Specify or click the corner. Then go to select objects and then select all. And then press OK. Once um, once you press OK, it will automatically bring you to block editor. So you just need to close the block editor to come back. And then the next thing that we need to do is to add our attributes. So type ref edit to edit the block. So click the block, the title block, then press OK. And now, add attributes by typing at def. Press enter. We will put a tag to our drawing. So the tag for our name is NM. Sorry, two letters only. And then the prompt is name. Press OK. So you need to position it here. 
and then press enter to do it again. So drawing name is DW. Here, enter. Date, DT. Press OK. So if you are done, you need to close the the block. So type ref close. So save and then OK. Now we will erase this or we will delete and we will try to insert our block to the command line. Then go to recent. So this is our um, title block. So you need to drag it to your paper space. And then you can input the name. Cut tech. Let's say the drawing name is the title block, for example. And the date is 11 7 22. Then press OK. So you will find that. Your title block has been updated. So whatever info you uh, input is automatically updated on your title block. So, so if you want to change uh, the info, all you need to do is to double click your block. And then go to cut tag and you can change the name. So if you double click. The Enhanced Attribute Editor will be open and you can change the name. Example, instead of Cut Tech, you can put the Cut Tech New. And then the Title Block, you can put the Drawing Block. We will not change the date. And then go to Text Option, you can change the the font, the text style, the justification, you can change the height. If you find it um, a small, you can change it into, let's say, 0 0.1 um, and then apply. So the drawing block changes because that is what is highlighted here. So let's go to cut tech. Let's change it into point one correct wait let me check point one so cut tag point one apply and let's go to the date let's change it to zero point one then apply and then press ok there you have it so if you find this helpful, please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe so you will be updated for the new video tutorial that I will upload. And thank you for watching. God bless!